G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab. I'm here today on day one at the All Energy Show with Marcus from Anchor Innovations. G'day Marcus. How you doing Glenn? Marcus, this looks like a big power bank to me. It's a huge, I'd call it a super-sized power bank, Glenn. <laughs> so tell me about the Anchor Solix AC coupled inverter. This is the Anchor Solix X1, Glenn. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic unit. Um, it, it's, th this unit specifically is for when you've already got solar on your household and you wanted to add a battery to that solar system. What sort of power ratings does the inverter come in? 36 kilowatt. And can you have more than one? You can, yes. It's a modular system, so you can have up to three in this one unit plus another three on a, on a separate stand, but you can have up to six units in the one system. Wow. I mean, looking at the, the wall there, it says up to 180 kilowatt hours. Yes, correct. Each of these modular units is five kilowatt hour, okay? So this unit here, for example, will be a 15 kilowatt hour unit. If we put another three, uh, an another three modular systems onto this unit, it would be a 30 kilowatt hour unit. Right, so that's, that's, a, that's a lot of storage for a home. And I, I note it also has backup power, so it can run your home during power outage. It absolutely can, yes. That's pretty cool. What's inside the battery modules? Glenn, there's five kilowatt hour of battery cells per module. Right. Wow, that's pretty cool. Now, one of the things that impresses me is how skinny it is. <laughs> it's a really slim unit. It looks fantastic on the side of a house, um, and, and that's one of the main selling points of this, of this product. It's, it, 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 it is one of the best looking products on the market. Now, speaking of on the side of the house, does that mean you can put it out in the weather? It, you can, absolutely. It's got a core five anti-corrosive rating on it. So perfect for the Australian coastal environments and, and, and really fantastic for the desert as well. That's a really high uh, anti-corrosion rating. That's pretty impressive. Now the display itself, it looks like it's always on. It's not always on. It may look like it right now. What, what would happen in a normal situation is that uh, it, it's got a motion sensor on it. So when you walk by it, for example, at, in the middle of the night and you want to know how much battery you have left after your normal um, evening occurrences, um, the, the display will light up, all right? So this front part here, this display will light up and there'll be an additional light, an, an additional glowing light that sort of lights up the, the logo at the bottom. Well, it's a beautiful looking unit and I'm sure it'll be really popular in Australia. I, I'm absolutely positive of that as well. Thanks, Marcus. Thank you. So Marcus, what are we standing in front of? We're standing in front of the Anchor Solix powerhouse unit. So down the bottom there, is, is that a portable power station? That is a portable power station, yes. Cool. So Marcus, what do we call this unit? It's called the Anchor Solix F3800, Glenn. Wow. And what sort of power rating has it got? It's got a 6,000 watt power rating. And for storage? Uh, 3.8 kilowatt hour. Wow. What's that unit on top there? The unit on top is an expandable unit. So the unit at the bottom is a, uh, a just, just the core unit. Uh, again, a, uh, a, a 3.8 kilowatt hour unit. And the unit at the top is an expandable battery unit. Um, it's also a 3.8 kilowatt hour. Oh, right. So we've got double that. That's 7.2 kilowatt hours Correct. of storage. Yeah. Can we have three? Yes, you can. You can actually expand it as much as, you, as, much as you'd like. Um, wow. I heard six possibly. That's going to be taller than it's you. It's going to be very tall, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you can expand it uh, to get the capacity you need. In terms of um, outputs, uh, how much power can you get out of one of those AC socket outlets? One of the sockets is 3,000 watts. Right, so it's 6,000 watts total, 3,000 watts per socket. Correct. Now I noticed down the front here you've got a whole bunch of USB ports. Uh, let's just have a look, closer look at those. <laughs> So I've got three USB-C ports and two USB-A ports, but if you need additional ports as well, we've also got the car socket output, which can be used with other, uh, other Anker automotive products that include you know, additional USB-C ports and, a, and additional USB-A ports as well. Wow, and there's even more ports. This is like a port central. Uh, around the side here, what are these yellow ones for? These yellow uh, ports are for our, uh, our charging solutions, our, our anchor, anchor solar charging solutions. Typically in, this, in the case of this unit, our, uh, our anchor portable charging solutions. All oh, right, using the folding panels. Correct. 
How fast can I charge this unit using uh, the solar panels? The core unit itself, so just this unit here, we're talking about one and a half hours. For every battery on top of that, so for every expansion unit, we're talking about an additional one and a half hours. So for this unit itself, three hours total. Now, it looks pretty heavy. How heavy is it? It's uh, 60 kilograms, but the good news about this product is that we've put it on wheels. So it's extremely easy to, to move out of your caravan or out of your car if you're transporting it via car and put it wherever you need it uh, on, on your campsite or, or if you need it on your work site. Cool. All right, Marcus, let's check out some of the other cool Anchor Solic stuff. Sounds good. Marcus, what are these big boxes behind you? We call these, Glenn, the Anchor Everfrost. Wow, so it's a cooler? It is a cooler, or an esky if you'd like. A powered esky. <laughs> a powered esky? Powered esky? A powered esky, yes. Wow, so how long would it keep my beer cool for? Up to 42 hours. My gosh, that's nearly two days. Yeah, it's a long time. Let's say I'm going away for a long weekend. That's... I need. What, what could I do to keep it running? Well, we have multiple methods of charging these Everfrosts, right? So, I mean, the, the one we recommend probably is, is taking one of our anchor um, portable solar units. Um, these solar units, uh, they charge the Everfrost um, at 100 watts um, and they do a really good job of sort of maintaining that power flow as well. So if you have one out at any point in time, it will continue to run that Everfrost while, while, you've got, while you've got sun. So I can go for more than a long weekend once I have a solar panel connected? Absolutely. So what's the capacity of this unit? Uh, there are three sizes. We have a 33 litre, a 43 litre and a 53 litre. So is this the 53? This is the 53 right here, the Big Bertha. <laughs> now it's got two hatches, what's that about? There is both a freezing unit and a cooling unit. So if you're away on a camping trip, for example, or a fishing trip even, um, there is a compartment to store your catch of the day. Um, but there's also a compartment to store the uh, beer that you're going to drink with that catch. <laughs> now, if I want to recharge this from my car, do I have to lift the whole thing into the car? Uh, absolutely not, funnily enough. Um, these units have a removable battery. Ah. So it, it's not just that you can charge it in your car, but you can actually use these batteries as a standalone unit. Right, so this is like a giant portable uh, power bank. Absolutely, yeah. You can charge your laptop, you can charge your iPad, or you can just, you know, use a, 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 an Anchor Nebula projector from it even. Wow. Now, look, you've got so much cool tech here. Let's have a look what's next on the line. Marcus, th this is a little portable power station. It is, it's part of our camping range. What sort of power output has this got? It outputs 1,200 watts. Wow, so 1,200 watts power from the AC outlets. What about if I want to charge it from solar? What can, what can I put into it? 300 watts solar, so a portable solar unit, it's about 300 watt. Cool, and how much storage capacity does it have? Almost 800 watt hour. Oh, that's pretty cool. So on top there, it looks like there's a, a plug for charging it. Is that what it is? It's not actually. It's a port that we use to put our camping lights. So you'll notice in, in, in this compartment here, there are two camping lights. This unit here is an extendable arm that screws into the top of the unit. It then expands. Whoop. So that's your uh, TV antenna, is it? <laughs> Something like that. Um, this here is a light. <laughs> and it sits up on the top there. So is that just uh, like a, a, a candle? No, no, it's a camping light. So it, it, uh, it can be a flashlight as well. We take it off the unit. It has multiple settings. It can be a flashlight, can be a candle, and it can be low light as well. Wow, that's cool. And there's two of them. There's two. So I guess this product's ideal for dra dragging it into a tent, um, keeping the kids happy with some power for their devices. Absolutely. And a nightlight as well. Yes, that's it. Cool. Well, thanks, Marcus, for showing me around. Thank you.